and today we're doing a little bit of a twist on a balsamic vinegar reduction. I wanted to have something that had a little bit more depth to it, a little bit more flavor. Okay, so come along with me into this pot. I have uh, some olive oil, garlic, and basil, thyme, oregano, marjoram, red pepper flake, minced onion for the exact ingredient listing and technique. Check out my copycat on Carabas Urban Oil Mix. Okay, and I'll show you how to do this first step in this balsamic vinegar reduction. Okay, now that is in our little our saucepan there getting nice and toasty. In to deglaze our pan goes our one cup of dry, very fruity red wine. Oh, that's smelling wonderful already. Oh my goodness sakes. And then in goes our two cups of balsamic vinegar. Once the wine and the vinegar are in there, you just stir to combine. And then you're going to put that temperature at just below simmering. You do not want it to boil. Hey guys, this is going to simmer for about two and a half, maybe three hours, just depending on how hot you keep it. The hotter it stays, of course we don't want it to boil, but the hotter it stays, the quicker it's going to reduce. Now, when you get it to about half, reduced by about half, it's going to look like this. Okay, now, you see how that's gotten darker and thicker. Now, once this is reduced by half, about half, it's going to get much darker as you can see, but we still have all of those herbs in there, and it's thicker, but we don't want those herbs, those little grainy pieces of that, so we're going to strain this. So you're probably wondering, what do you could use this on? Chicken, fried chicken, chicken and scallions, beef, mmm, all kinds of things. And I'll tell you what, you ought to try this. Do the drizzle this across the next time you make loaded cheese fries because they will never be the same and neither will you. Ha! But while I've got it here, and I cannot wait to try this, our lovely baguette. Ooh, look how dark and rich that is. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Oh my goodness sakes, you guys. This is absolutely amazing. My palate is going crazy. Those taste buds are singing. I cannot wait to try this on like 50 different things. Oh my goodness sakes. So, if you want to really get you something nice, a condiment, it's already made, do it on a day off when you're just piddling around in the house. And you can let it go low and slow on the oven while you're doing some other things. Just keep an eye on it every now and then. And strain that thing off. Put it in a jar, put it in the fridge, and you have the most wonderful drizzle sauce condiment, a base for a wonderful vinaigrette, all kinds of things. And you're going to really make your family proud of you. I'm telling you what, they're going to say, how in the world did you do this? Because this tastes five star. So, thanks for tuning in, guys. Throw me up a like and a comment. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, hit that notify bell for us, will ya? And we'll see you next time on Things Tina Does.